Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Valhalla, or VA11 Hall A, whatever you want to say. Waifu bartending, let's just keep calling it that. All right, let's just load where we were. Page six is where I was. Been a couple days here. Ooh, I think it's been two days since I last got to play this. Anyways, your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Anyways, what the hell is my chair stuck on? Jesus, great start. For a real professional of me. Have at least 800. Well, I have at least that much, as you can clearly see. Jill has lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting distracted. Okay, first let's just buy the hollow plant, just so she won't get distracted at work. There it is. In memory of a real potted plant. $600. Well, how can I not? How could I not take advantage of such an amazing deal? You're about to buy. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, let's see. It should appear in my room now. That right there, I think it is. Yeah. So yeah, you can buy it. Anything you buy, you can buy it at any time if you, as long as you have the money. It appears in your room, but I unfortunately, unfortunately learned the hard way that you know you don't need to buy every single thing right away. You'll just end up screwing yourself over for later in the game when you need more money in your account. Luckily, I barely, just barely managed to scrape by some of those, but it doesn't matter because I I just noticed her panties are hanging hanging up in her room right there. Of course I'd noticed that. Weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. All right, let's raid the phone and then let's go to work. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I actually, at the time of recording this, I haven't uploaded the first episode. I wanna get a handful of these done ahead because, you know, I don't wanna feel pressured to just record and get them out really fast once I start. So anyways, local woman, local hero, what's this about? By Lana Smithy. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. A mysterious rescuer, just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them midair and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. What? 70% of our readers consider our, consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting by Lana Smithy. This is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. I'm just going to slightly adjust my monitor. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. And with a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is producing. That's good because it sucks. It sucks so much I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh, can't even finish this article. I'm sorry everyone, but I have to puke. Blurg, I hope it's put out, out of sale. This is an amazing newspaper. I think Alice Rabbit may be... Alice Rabbit might be a dog. <laughs> Don't trust this dog. Uh, was, oh, hang on a second. I just noticed Jill has dialogue for this. I think I remember that. Midair sounds a bit too fantastical. Okay. The shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. I think Alice Rabbit might be a dog. And I think, I believe Alice Rabbit was the hacker they were referring to in the last... Uh, yesterday. Well, in-game yesterday. Don't trust this dog. Do you see this pooch? Don't trust it. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near-human speed. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog uses their brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe... Um... What about those purple numbers? Is there a, something I'm... I don't know. I can't... It's zeros and ones, so that, that's binary, right? It tra this actually translates to something. Well, if any of you guys know what this is supposed to say, you can tell us down in the comments below. You're guaranteed to get lots of like. Lots of likes. Why did I say like? That'll make, you, that'll make your existence feel a lot less empty. Or so I'm told. Um... What's this thing? This is new? Danger you. Dangerous opinions. I, I recall this thing. Um, this is, yeah, this is just basically just like a 4chan type board thing. Where people shitpost and get mad at each other and have wonderful conversations. 
Miki concert. Okay, so let's all let's admit all the concert conversation to this thread. Oh, let's limit all the convert concert con conversation to this thread. I can't talk. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going with my boyfriend. Boyfriend, why would you lie on the internet? Haha, <laughs> oh wow. Fucking normies, get out. That is so cute, Anon. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Yes. So you're finally going to confess? Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing, but I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Miki shows up, you'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You will understand once you are there with her. Miki Con concerts are some magical shit. This thread is closed. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. What it says on the tin. So what's the news on them? Hmm, drawing a blank. RN. What, is, what does RN mean? We haven't heard of Alice in a while now that I think of it. You think they're planning something? There's this constant rumor I hear about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Lol, we're going to be attacked, and it will be funny to see those white knight fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. She normally leaves a funny... XC drawing in a message, something like, Happy Not Birthday. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be some kind of coding thing, but I'm fucking... Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell? Alice was the one who leaked all the internal White Knight memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try with your baits. Thread is closed. Miki concert too. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch your signals. Mmm, you say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right. That's going to be difficult. Now you have to be direct and to the point. I'm afraid that's going to be the case here. Not that I'm actually in love. Stop. I'm going to marry Miki. Stop being such an attention whore. We, we are here for Miki. Come on, Anon. Don't be mean. We just want to help a fellow Miki sister. Y you don't have to fight because of me. It wasn't my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her. Everyone else here wants to help you. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. Now who's the attention whore again? Ha 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 ha. It's funny because, you know, it's 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 reverse and reverse and what would be expected. Does anyone know of childhood romances that succeed in real life? You're just lonely. But she's I, I forgot to check what Jill says here. This page looks silly. It's amusing in its own way. Happy not birthday, cheeky bastard. Okay, what was something else I can check here? That's whatever. Well, I did all that stuff. I may as well save over it. All right. Okay, how long? Okay, let's go to work now. I know. I'm gonna get a drink before I do that. Okay. Hmm. I always found browsing the uh, the news sites and the on the phone, the threads and everything, to be an amusing little little attention to detail like you can completely skip it and you'd miss nothing but it's just so so humorous to me that it's in the game anyways go to work let's get started wednesday december 14th good evening oh right i gotta click this hey jill wow that's a sound you don't hear every day B boss what are you doing with that helmet i was just about to ask you where it came from a white knight came yesterday, and she, well, left it. She forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the counter. Wait, wait. Do you regu regularly put on things without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the climate client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable, and cool, and comfortable, and cool, and, and really, really cool. Hello? It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was good. Don't run, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Ch Chief? S sorry, I thought you were someone else. 
Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll donate the, Pl the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. Oh, it detonates. I thought it said... Why did I read donate? Oh, well. Brain fart. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. Just forget about it. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed, then good. Are you all set? Yep. I'm gonna turn the volume up slightly. I've got it. I really like the music in this game. All right. All right, jukebox. Okay, let's, uh, I don't, I don't have everything memorized by name, but I want to start with a neon light glows. This is the one, obviously, because it's the first track listed here, excluding this course. I recognize this one by name, and I really like it. It's a really good track. Let me just let the preview of it play. Okay, of course, it just won't play for us, but whatever. Um, let's just pick them by name now. A gaze that invited, that sounds melancholic and interesting. Will you remember me? All systems go. March of the White Knights. Oh, is that a collect? Is that just an audio track of uh, a bunch of fedoras being lifted from the greasy heads of people? Everything will be okay. Let's try that. Those who dwell in shadows. That sounds epically stupid. A star pierces the dark. Syntha stitch. Got syn Syntha. S yeah, yeah. Huh? I heard someone in my door there. Whatever. Synthesis. Snowfall. Snow is always fun. Uh, Met Metropolis. Karma Trine Dream. God, I'm even having fun just picking the music. Uh, follow the trail. Let's just okay. Let's go with this mix. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brat, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. Well, I guess he wants a beer. Like last time. Maybe I should just make it big. He wanted it big last time, didn't he? Ha ha ha. The Casper, that sounds really dirty, like you're talking about... A penis or something. Oh yeah, this is what this is what I love about this track. Just listen to listen to it. It's short, but it's so goddamn sweet. There we go. Ah. And all mixed. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an ar article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like a first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but the hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that, the, fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the Department of Lilum's sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilum then. Yes, one of those one of those new fancy king class. I'm just gonna call that a Chia model. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey you, the guy with a John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? Don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. 
It was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? I, I, I've never been to Hong Kong, and, and I certainly didn't defect from any, any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Well, there you go. There's your backstory. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking to with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws were trying they were trying to pass wouldn't pack wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate se segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. PR century, did I say country? I, I think I did. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in their plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of the previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better uh, better to be laconic. Laconic? I've never- I don't think I've seen that word before. Am I saying it right? Ah, whatever. Trying to go from the get, yeah. trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the industrial revolution. All that happened when I got out of, all that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a, a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Eh, scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy the Chinese can be. Well, it's okay, I didn't want to, I didn't want to monetize this episode either. Demonetized for racism. I can see it now, all of my Chinese viewers are just getting really mad at me. I don't know if I have any Chinese viewers to actually I get a lot of people that say greetings from so-and-so place in the world, but I don't think anyone's tell anyone's greeted me from China. Why do I get the feeling that someone very desperate for likes right now is suddenly going to say that they're from China? I'm not going to pin you. I'm going to say that right now. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean ma Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canta what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are a lot of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots, lots, of pe lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Ahem, sure, on it. He wants a Mars Blast? That's a change of pace, all right. All right. What, what track is playing right now? I kind of like this one. Will You Remember Me? That's a good one. Oh. I, I want to gu just gush to this game's soundtrack so much, but I gotta, I gotta make drinks and change lives. Mars Blast, six Bronson Extract. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. That's, nah, that's, the, 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 fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Silly me, I put in too much. One, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, and let it mix for a little bit and blend. Success. Here, let's play now. All systems go. All right, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything I could use, someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good, fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff. How they feel like they have more power than you do, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. I excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff, and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eye. If you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake, and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something, catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. <laughs> oh. Oh, because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. Oh, that's... that's... You know, the sad part is... I can see this exact situation happening in real life. Like, no question. I could... If, if, if I saw an, this... If someone told me this, I'd, I'd believe them. No question. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their own damn namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You're telling me, man. You can't win! You will always offend somebody. Yeah, I know. They're just, everyone's a fucking asshole, so if you make sure to call them all a fucking asshole, then, then they can't get mad at you because then they don't, then they feel included among everyone else. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thoughts of ganging up against something. Oh, tell me about it, man. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients, the ones you have to target. Not really. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most net neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Oh. Oh, that I need that. Well, then again, there's the opinion pieces. Those fucking dumb, dumbass college kids and their opinion pieces. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Tam, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and must be, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? What's this song? Everything will be okay. Aww, isn't that warm and fuzzy? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. I mean, is, is it gonna be Kim who was the one who was supposed to do it, maybe? Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure, want something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help too. Okay, so let's look for something really bitter. 
after I get a drink myself. <sighs> I can't help it, guys. Ugh. Ugh. People wonder why I, I, t I stop to grab a drink every single second, <laughs> but I can't help it, like... I mean, I've gotten used to... used to talking for long periods of time while doing these kind of, like, in-game text readings. Let's find the... What's the most expensive bitter drink? 150, 80, 160, suplex 160, Ooh, that's the most expensive, so we're going to go with that. Okay. Oh, ah, shit. Fuck. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Karma trying, all blended. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, but even my throat just gets really dry. I've had a... I've always just had freaking throat problems since I was young, where I gotta clear it a lot. It's gotten better, but it, you all can obviously notice there's, it's been an issue for me. Whatever. I'm not a professional. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. Man, that gal's producer was angry as fuck. Trying to negotiate with him was a hassle. I've had less problems dealing with SoCal, SoCal Justice Warriors. Okay. Don't want to actually call them social justice warriors, otherwise you might offend or offend people. Who? SoCal Justice Warriors, that mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swim in swimsuits. Well, okay. Well, there's a Scooby-Doo spin-off that I wouldn't mind watching. Oh yeah, those artificially blonde, artificially tanned folks with big blunt objects. Yeah. Okay. They're an interesting group, you know? They only accept people born and raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive, too. Too many outlets have insulted them in the, in the past, so they are trigger-happy against defamation. I've had a dozen guys in Speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. <laughs> I, d I don't know why, but something about calling it a bag bags of batteries just makes me chuckle like a fucking moron. And they were still more polite than that producer guy. Think about it. Watching a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant. I'm pretty sure there there's a banana hammocks and bags of batteries audience somewhere, though. Well, I'm out. <laughs> Thank you. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. That was, um, tiring. What's the one playing now? I'm curious. Those who dwell in shadows. Not bad. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yup, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type White Knight helmet is not precisely a common inquiry, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper... What? Did you run out, of, run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. Ha 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 ha! Shit! Don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see. Where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, uh, hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? Is it Iris or Iris? I'm gonna say Iris. I don't- I don't- I've never known anyone with that name. So I'm not entirely sure. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust Boss. 
Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Do Dorothy. Dorothy. Do Dorothy. I've always... Blah, blah, blah. That name's always been a tongue twister for me, because I keep saying Dorothy, but it's Dorothy. But it, but when I when you say it fast, it sounds like Dorothy. Whatever, I'm just going to keep saying Dorothy. Blah. It always bugs me. Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon, and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the, and the other person is invisible? Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. I am not surprised in the slightest. I mean, tell us down below in the comments. Do you have a fetish for invisible people? Well, okay, I'm just, I'm just digging myself deeper in the hole of demonetization. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about? I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I don't think I've ever seen images of that as porn. Wait, how would that even be porn? There'd be no person to look at, it'd just be floating clothes. You can't, how, do, how does one make porn of that fetish? Oh, this is some science that even Rule 34 can't solve. These are the tough questions. I'm gl uh, this game asked, uh, only asks mankind's greatest, greatest, greatest curiosities. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Well, when you're making porn, that's kind of the best, best, best case scenario, actually. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too, with such a such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo mod module module. Nano camo? I want music. Synthesis stitch. Have you, haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect, but if you move, you'd be an eerie surroundings-colored blob. And we Lilums see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now what was that about talking to yourself again? <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Jesus, ah. I saw, yeah, in the eye, I saw the girl on the TV there. The girl from the very, very beginning. Nothing important. What are you having? I'm, I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. Five Adelhide. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. All aged and mixed. One piano woman. Thanks, I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday? Can't believe I still remember that. 
That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improv improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. <clears throat> oh, I need to fix my seat, sorry. You know, hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit a hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. Ho ho ho. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible? Fine! Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Well, it's good to know that the little, little lolly robot sex prostitute can, uh, sex pro sex prostitute. Yeah, that's not a really totally redundant. <laughs> good to know that the little lolly robot prostitute has a, has a nice little offer for me. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, how about your boss? Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on, now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that I wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Ahem, a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not. It was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Well, I think I know who that is. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me to the ground and have his way with me. Well, let us take a drink to celebrate this wonderful moment of demonetization. <sighs> well, look on the bright side, Jill, once the bar closes down, we'll both be fucking poor bastards. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yep, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Now I, now I, I really feel bad for that guy. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would ya? Sure. Moon blast coming right. What is the music here? I want to hear this. Mm, yeah. Keep trying to keep... I'm gonna forget the name anyway, but whatever. Moon blast coming up. Now, like I was saying, I tried to explain at the end of last episode. Um, the reason you want to buy things for Jill when when it mentions it to keep her is to keep her from getting distracted at work like 
like I was trying to explain, um, if you if you if you don't satisfy her her wants, not those kind of wants, get your mind out of the gutter, kids. This text down here will say something something random, and so it means you got to pay attention to the dialogue and remember what they what the, what they actually wanted. So yeah, it's just convenience for convenience sake. Moonblast coming up. Six of Delhide. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should only pause to take a drink whenever I'm like making drinks or get a demonetization moment, which I get a feeling there's going to be a lot of them. All on the rocks and blended. Oh well. Blended. I hope people legit reali realize that I legitimately don't care. Whether a video gets demonetized or not, like, I'm not like pumping sh pumping stuff out for money or anything. Like, I'm playing this for fun. I honestly don't give a crap if I make don't even make a cent off of this. And I should stop talking about money. It makes me feel gross when I do that. Here, there's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why, but the way Jill just described just just described this drink, it just put like a a really really weird taste at the back of my mouth just from imagining that. Am I alone here? Probably. I'm always alone in my bedroom talking to myself. Yes, I'm single. Yes, I'm single, and I don't mind that you're a girl. Well, I'll keep that in mind too, Dorothy. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC's 72s look like kids? Oh my god, she she's actually called a DFC? Only, uh, only me and Trevor are going to understand that. And I'm and I am perfectly okay with that. And also, yeah, she looks like a kid. So yeah, lo lolly prostitute robot. Yes and no. Out of factory, we all look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. But then you look like babies outside the factory. Nope. Every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrades alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underaged, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? Don't, Jill. The less we think about it... I mean, maybe I'll go through with it, it, if, it ever, if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Jamie. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if, if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the word cling. Uh, hear the cling of your shaker. What? I don't think I've... I don't think I fully understand that one. Something... Probably something about a dick. Fine, fine! I'll be, I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. This dude... I think he's also a reference to something. I think he's a... He looks... Reminds me like the... The Deus Ex guy. I, I've never played Data Sex, Deus Ex, though. Did I suck? Did I suck? Did I even pronounce it right? Oh, whatever. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? 
Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yeah. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make, make both before, before serving. Okay. One big sunshine cloud for, let's make that first. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Oh, is the music already looping through all of them? Oh, Neon Light Glows is awesome. All right, sunshine cloud. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With optional karma train on the rocks blended. Wait, how does the optional karma train work? Does it work if I'm making it big? So what happens if I lo absolutely load it and get and get her drunk? I don't think this is gonna work, but let's do a try it anyway. Oh crap, it worked! Okay, where's next? Make the six. So yeah, that's what slot two is for. Gut punch, okay. Five Bronson Extract, one, two, three, four, five. One, all aged and mixed. Ah, let's not put in the Karma Trine for him. Okay. Here and here, I need a drink myself after mi after those little... Mm. <sighs> I hope you all got a little Drink or snack yourself. We're all just chilling and having a good time. Here's what we're doing. What happens if I interact with these? None. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you, it's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that DFC 72 line leaves tracking nano machines and the other person after, well, after they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? Well, well, take a shot. Okay, here's a fun little drinking game you can all start playing at home. Take a shot every time the video gets demonetized. <laughs> uh. Ahem, yes. That's a semi- that's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines, nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to com I'd have to commend their tenacity. To be honest, tenacity, tenacity, tenacity. That's a word people get mad at me for saying wrong sometimes, but I don't care. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. 
Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. <laughs> Fine, see if I care. Oh, she's pouting. She's pouting. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, it's kind of hard to not root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gil! I need your girly hands for a second here! Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. A Mars Blast. Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Are there other blast ones? I'm not sure I understand the joke there. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. One powdered delta. One, two, three, four. One, two. All blended. All right, let's give it a moment. Ugh. There you go. Mars Blast. Time for a sip of my own drink. Hmm. <sighs> I can't help but not feel thirsty as well when I'm playing this game. I'm not I'm not drinking alcohol, by the way. I I, I just have my water bottle. I, I've I've got like some fla like orange flavoring in it, and it's actually pretty delicious. Helps me cut down on sipping energy drinks and soda all the time when I'm recording. Is this one again? Is this snow? Well, you remember me, right? Here, bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. Oh, don't give me that fucking philosophical crap, man. So you haven't been to a war? Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to be, have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing, easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I, I if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind if you just said. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, did you? Would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. All right. God, the dart looks so nice. All right, I'm gonna make a quick save. Back to... All right, it's now safe to keep playing. I'm gonna stand up and give myself a little stretch break. Dorothy looks really cute there. Ugh. Everyone's favorite lolly sex robot prostitute girl. Ugh. It's gonna stretch. It's good for you. Remember, kids, it's good to stretch. Take a break. Don't say, stay seated for 
very long periods of time. <laughs> oh, I burped. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Unprofessionalist unprofessionalism at its finest. Bosch should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Jukebox. All right. All right. Let's pick some other stuff now. Um, commencing simulation. I don't remember. Who was I? That sounds edgy. A gaze that invited. I don't remember. What is this one? I like that one, yeah. Anamoto. Oh, what does this one sound like? Eh. I like it, but I wanna. I wanna. Where do I go from here? Uh, Reen. Neo Avatar. Um. The answer lies within. Dawn approaches with renewed hope. Reminiscence, sure, why not? And, uh. Re Snowfall? Yeah, whatever. And how about Glitch City? Let's do it. You could take a couple minutes more, you know? I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open! Great! Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. What kind of place is this? Oh, she's a cutie. Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice! What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter. Sorry if that's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. All right. Bitter. That one works, but let's see what's, what else I can get here. Bitter, that punch, that sure as heck not really girly. Yeah, the rest of them are all manly. Grizzly Temple. Sunshine Cloud it is. All on the rocks and blended. Optional Karma Trine. gonna load that up. There you go. Try this. Yep, this'll do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Kiramiki. I'm Kiramiki. Oh, that's the concert girl I was reading about this morning, and the D Donovan D. Dawson was talking about. So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kiramiki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira. M Miki. No, no, no. Put more spirit into it. Kira. M Miki. Almost there. Kira. Miki. Kira. Miki. Kira. Miki. Kira. Miki. <laughs> That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira. Miki. Even Jamie's joining in there. Kira. Miki. Kira. Miki. And don't you ever forget it. 
What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? R right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilum who is putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided... And decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your, won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is that is not many? And what exactly is? Hold on. And based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki. Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? No, I mean soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. Wonder if she means alcohol free or something else. Uh, fedora with perfume? No. I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Sunshine Cloud? I already gave her one bef last time. Fluffy Dream? Um, that's the best I can think. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them, you'll be sleeping soundly. Oh, it actually says right there. Wait, by type? Is there a soft? Well, okay, this thing actually says soft, so if this isn't it, well, I don't fucking know. This better not cost me my perfect service bonus. Optional Karma Trine. All aged and mixed. Aged. Optional Karma Trine? Well, let's just get her drunk. Okay. Fluffy Dream. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Alright, I got it. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Eh? Yeah, you know, like, spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. Ugh, I need to fix my seat. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl. Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill. Never lose your star. From Kira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. Oh. 
just knows I'm in music here. Hey, Irene. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as it, fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I, I see. They're also very organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one, one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Well, remember kids, as long as your stalker is cute, you can allow them to do things like that. Take my advice. And she fails to see the problem. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way with the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No wait. No wait it isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. <sighs> Alright, just had a yawn. Mm. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for Your Love is a Drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. She wants something bitter. Maybe to sober her up a bit? Bitter. Grizzly Temple, I recall, is the most expensive bitter one. Yeah, it is. It is. Grizzly Temple. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for the fans of the movie it was used in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One Karma Trine. All blended. Ugh, time for a drink myself. Hmm. That's good. How long have I been going? Holy shit! I've been going for over an hour? I didn't even... Jeez, this game, I really, I'm really getting into this, honestly. I'm having a blast with this so far. I hope you're all enjoying it. Try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? It could be sweet, a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice. Thanks. Hey, Jill. Have you ever lost your identity? I've lost my ID card a couple of times, yeah. No, I mean... Your identity. Forgotten who you are. I, I like that little, little, little sharp glare she's giving me right there. What's with the change in expression? No, not really. I did. Kiramiki is just an artist's name. At first, it was hard for me to play the part, you know? But I gained so much satisfaction from the concert that I decided to invest myself. And I overdid it. Oh, uh, so... 
I became so invested in the character that I forgot who I was. I lost something once. My name tag. I'm just imagining that scene from Spongebob now. Who was I before I became Kiramiki? What did I like? Where does Kiramiki end and I begin? I just don't know anymore. Sounds rough. What drove you to such a decision? The fact that I know I'm performing a noble duty. How? You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, insecurity, the black slime that comes out of the sewers every full moon. You don't know what will await you every morning. You don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measured, the cons of life outweigh the pros. People need something to cling to. And for many, I'm that, I'm that thing. You are? During my concert, they stop being themselves for four hours. They're not a nurse, an office worker, or a store clerk. For those four hours, they're just part of the mass that goes to see an idol. No religion, gender, or social class divides them. They're all at the same level. Damn. When not in concert, I try to give them songs that will cheer them up, that will make their lives worth living. When I see the people call my name from the stage, I know they're thanking me. Thanking me for that single moment where they can be happy. That's what I love about the stadium. I'm down below while they're up high. If forgetting who I was before means I can protect those smiles, so be it. I'll make that sacrifice as many times as needed. Because I live for them. Because I know I help them. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I am Kiramiki. And don't you ever forget that. Fan club, to me! We ride to the stadium. Wow. She's something else, huh? I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. Do you think she's telling the truth? Give me a sec. According to this article, her real name is Michelle Kingston, deployed about two years ago. She did a few variety shows with her jazz band, but went solo afterwards. What was all that talk then? She was drunk, and she was very... Peculiar drunk. Wow, is this because I loaded both of her drinks with as much alcohol as possible? Figures. Still quite the motivational performer, though. No doubt. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet... Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my monk m moniker during my wrestling days. Is that, am I saying that right? Moniker? Whatever. Your, huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That was, that way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometimes. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. No mistakes, yes. Let's see. Total earnings, commission, 30%, today's payment, tips, flawless service bonus, grab a snack on the way home, it's on me. 300 bucks for a snack, what a, what a boss, today's transfer. Total funds, heck yeah. You remember ships? Jill is humming Your Love is a Drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Kiramiki's blog. Cool. Did that idol really show up? Or is she like the ghost? Hey. 
All right, well, actually, I'm gonna make a save now. So it looks like, actually, that the... Like, obviously, uh, reading all the dialogue makes it take a bit longer, but it looks like uh, days are gonna work out to be just over the hour mark, so yeah, this is probably the per most, like, a really perfect series to do. We literally just chill at the end of a day here and relax. I hope all of you guys are enjoying this. Also, yeah, the little, the best boss poster, isn't that, isn't that cute? Isn't that, that's real cute, isn't it? But, yeah, I'm really enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. It's really just, it's really nice at the at the end of a long, hard day, you know, just turn out the lights and everything and just sit back and enjoy this. It's fun. But anyways, I think we'll just, we'll, we'll start reading all the newspaper articles at the start of the next episode and that. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you're all enjoying this series so far. I'm certainly enjoying playing it. And I've said that enough now. So anyways, Bye-bye. Have a good night. I gotta get ready for bed. I'm getting tired. Good night.